So we've had evidence for a while that people with type 2 diabetes are at greater risk of things like dementia. This is an observation that's led to an exciting new treatment for dementia though. So what's the link between diabetes and dementia? Well, one of the key problems with type 2 diabetes is that it inflames our blood vessels and that can lead to plaque buildup. And that plaque buildup in our arteries, it restricts blood flow. So it leads to a thing called vascular dementia where the brain simply isn't getting enough blood and oxygen supply to actually function correctly. But this increased inflammation from type 2 diabetes, it also makes things like Alzheimer's disease worse. So Alzheimer's disease, it seems to be the accumulation of broken proteins around and inside the neurons and inflammation levels or high levels of inflammation seem to make that process worse. Now we still aren't exactly sure why Alzheimer's disease develops in the way that it does, but we do know that it shares several important mechanisms with type 2 diabetes. So if we can treat type 2 diabetes effectively, we might be able to lower the risk of dementia. And aside from diet and exercise, of course, there are two medication classes that are getting a lot of attention right now in terms of whether they can try and reduce our dementia risks. So those medications are GLP-1 and SGLT2 inhibitors. So GLP-1 medications, they increase our insulin sensitivity, which dampens down inflammation. It also helps to reduce our weight and reduces our appetite. SGLT2 inhibitors, on the other hand, they tell our kidneys to pee out sugar. And again, by that process, it reduces our overall inflammation levels, and that can in turn protect our brains. The overall point is that this is an incredibly exciting time because we might be able to use these type 2 diabetic medications to try and reduce dementia rates. And since dementia rates are skyrocketing, anything that we can do to try and reduce that risk is really exciting.